What is happening guys? Welcome. It's Christmas. The dogs are kicking off at each other. Break it up guys. It's Christmas. Welcome to my vlog. Welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Press the button. Go, go, go. With Christmas coming up, um, there's a few things that I'll be doing this year and I would urge anyone if you've got any spare time or spare food in your house that you don't want you can donate it to the local food bank so I've been doing a bit of research and I've found out what the things that people in the northeast use the most and um, from our food banks and um, thank God for the food bank uh. exactly yes that's it yes you get it but you have to keep still for yourself you know you're not doing it right I haven't taught you very well, have I? I'm sure I haven't even spoke about it. What about my hair? Bye, Felicia. It's gone. I thought, you know, it's freezing outside. Why don't I just get my hair cut short? I mean, that would be the right thing to do, wouldn't it? At Christmas. No, I like a reinvention at Christmas. I do. I like to, you know, up me, up, up me game. So, back to the food banks. I think it's called the Trussell Trust. There's a lot of food banks in our area. There's the gates there, there's, I think there's three in Newcastle itself. I thought I knew what food banks wanted or needed. So I'm going to go through a list of some of the things they ask for because you might find it quite surprising. So here goes. Start with the essentials, milk and UHT, so it's long life. Sugar, long life fruit juice. Tins of soup, you can't have. You can't have any of them. Tins of soup. Pasta, sponge pudding in a tin, tin tomatoes, tin vegetables, breakfast cereal, jar of instant coffee, tin fruit, packet of biscuit, rice, instant mash. They're the food thing are used regularly from food banks in our area. So if you've got any of them lying about, or if when you do your shopping you can afford to grab an extra bit of pasta or an extra cereal, then that's cool. At Christmas, if you if if you can still get down there for Christmas. Tin hams, cool. Christmas pudding, Christmas cake, box of biscuits, snacks and nibbles, uh, and Christmas crackers. What I didn't realize, food banks also give out toiletries and things to people who need them. So yeah, like soap, um, toothpaste, toothbrushes, stuff like that, which is, this dog is crazy tonight. So let's try and make Everyone have a good Christmas. I don't know about you, but the other day it was absolutely freezing and I was thinking like why are people like on the streets homeless? Like I, I totally understand how it happens uh, because of circumstances, but I just don't understand why more can't be done by the government. There's so many government buildings, especially in Newcastle, that are out of use. There's an actually there's a, a big building in, I think it's Northumbria University or Newcastle University. It's in, it's at, at Coach Lane and it's, it, I think it's called Henderson Hall. And it's like this massive building that used to obviously house like students. I think it might have been student nurses, but I'm not too sure. There's hundreds of rooms there that aren't being used, that are boarded up. Like why can't we put all of the homeless people in the country in old disused buildings that could be done up made safe and I, I went to America this year I was really fortunate to go to America and in San Francisco people walk around and see people that are homeless and just it's just like the normal for them but I never ever want to feel like that is normal because it's so weird it's like come on it's like there's not really a need, they, they, that doesn't have to happen. Something's going drastically wrong in 2018 if we still allow people, humans, to live on the streets, to get harassed, bullied, um, assaulted, and, and then people like go moan and moan about, oh, they just dr they take the drink and they take drugs. Um, I'm sure anyone would drink and take drugs if you were sleeping on the street and being harassed. Like you would do anything to make the experience, you know, feel a bit better or even, you know, to 
drink yourself into ob oblivion so you didn't have to think about what was going on. Come on people, wake up. It's not, you know, and I absolutely hate when people call people smack rats and all this. Like, just because you're, you've got a cigarette in your mouth, you might have a cigarette and you're going, oh look at that smack rat. What, what I don't understand what's different. Like, wh that person has a, a addiction and you have an addiction to cigarettes. It's, you're just being a snob by saying, my addiction's not as bad as yours, but like, it's still an addiction. Like, anyway, I've listed some websites where you can go and have a look, and if you can donate, that will be champion. Um, so, you just look at the light, man. So this week's been cool. Um, I've been in the theatre, I've had a really nice, it was called the Christmas Cracker, it was a live theatre, it was a mint, and it was four short plays in one night. And it was on for two hours and it was class. I've also been Christmas shopping online, as you do. <sighs> but guys, I'm gonna tell you what I ordered. I won't tell you who it's for because I'll spoil the surprise if you see this video. This is what I ordered the other day. And who knew you could get this delivered to your door. Nice, isn't it? I thought, oh, this person's gonna really love this. Knock on the door, Mr. Posty. What the hell is that? What is it? Guys, it's Twig. Okay, so slightly disappoint, disappointed by that. Awaited my next delivery, which is this. Have a look. What could go wrong with this? I think this might be the Olympic torch. What the hell? I mean, how ironic that this plant, natural, is wrapped in this awful plastic. Oh my god. So I've got to unwrap that and see if it's still with us. I'm highly doubtful, but you know, who am I? Again, I saw this picture online. Now you think, you're probably thinking, oh, it's going to be another twig. I wish. Didn't even get to that part. It's a friggin'. Red maple tree, red friggin maple tree. I am not shopping online anymore. I tell you what I have got though, and I'm really excited because as you know guys, I am a hairdresser. I have been a hairdresser, I still love hair. So I've got this head and I'm gonna start doing a few little tutorials online on how to do certain hairstyles. But for now, don't get too stressed with the run up to Christmas. Don't buy too much and think about the older people able to get out the house and um, just say hello or send them a text. Thank you and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.